Once you have observed and complied with all safety information, you can begin the diaphragm replacement. Move the actuator to the open position by unscrewing anti-clockwise. The corresponding rotational direction for opening and closing is indicated on the top of the hand wheel. The open position has been reached when the red position indicator can be seen below the hand wheel. Now position the Game Use Service tool in the correct position on the central nut and undo it anti-clockwise. A torque wrench can be used for assistance. Then remove the actuator from the valve body. Move the actuator to the closed position and unscrew the old diaphragm anti-clockwise. Then remove the old O-ring from the actuator. When removing the old O-ring using an appropriate tool, ensure that the guide groove is not damaged. Carefully open the double protective packaging and remove the spare parts. Now insert the new O-ring into the guide groove. Before screwing in the new diaphragm, Remove the protection cap from the diaphragm pin. Then screw in the new diaphragm clockwise until resistance can be felt. Move the actuator to the open position. The fixing lugs in the actuator and the fixing grooves in the valve body indicate the correct installation position. Position the actuator on the body and tighten the central nut clockwise until it is hand tight. Position the Game Use Service Tool in the correct position on the central nut. And attach the torque wrench in the extension for the service tool handle. Failure to do so will result in an incorrect torque. Tighten the central nut to the specified torque. Finally move the valve to the closed position. The diaphragm replacement is now complete. Check the valve after one week and retighten the central nut if necessary. Since on a manual valve the mechanical stress of the diaphragm depends on the closing force exerted by the operator, we recommend readjusting the seal adjuster after each diaphragm replacement. To adjust the seal adjuster, the valve must be opened slightly by turning the hand wheel anti-clockwise. Undo the red fixing screw on the hand wheel and remove the hand wheel. Now slightly screw the knurled screw beneath the hand wheel anti-clockwise and upwards. Position the hand wheel the other way around on the threaded spindle and close the valve by turning clockwise until considerable resistance can be felt. Then remove the hand wheel again and tighten the knurl screw clockwise and downwards as far as it will go. Fit the hand wheel in the normal position on the threaded spindle and secure with the red screw. The seal adjuster has now been successfully adjusted.